Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in our previous session, we have discussed about the prompt engineering. So we have seen a different types of prompts and how can we get the optimized output. And now we'll start a one more session. So in the generative AI, that is hugging phase ecosystem. Hugging phase ecosystem. So what is this hugging phase ecosystem? So this hugging phase ecosystem is an open source AI community. Okay. So this is an open source. So anyone can use it. Okay. Open source AI community. So we are saying AI means the the developers or the researchers who are doing the research in AI for them this will be very useful community so as we are saying it is a community it consists of a lot of things what the people can do on AI so it will be having uh, trained models trained models data sets tools libraries apis okay etc so whatever the researchers researchers want to do related to ai everything will be available in a single space that we call it as a hugging phase ecosystem so initially it was a chatbot Initially, it was a chatbot, and later it has been developed as a AI community. So we can also say it as a supermarket for AI, where we can get everything related to AI, everything related to AI, right? Yes. Now we'll see what are the components. The components of this hugging phase ecosystem. So the first one is a libraries okay first one is a libraries so in that library the first one is a transformers so this is a mo most popular library in the hugging phase ecosystem okay most popular so why we are using these transformers we have discussed in our previous sessions because so in order to generate the text generate text okay in order to generate the text that means we can say text classification text classification question and answering okay so summarization so everything can be done by using this transformers okay this is a pre-trained a model so we can directly use this one by using a simple python code so by using simple python code we can use this a transformers library similar to that the second one data sets so if we know the data set the collection of large amount of data we call it as a data set okay so it will be having a lot of data sets lot of massive data sets massive data sets and these data sets are will being used to either train the model or test the model okay so it will be used for training and testing training in testing okay and one more thing all the data will be stored in a standard format in the same format so obviously it will make the researchers very easy to use these kind of data sets hope you understood yes now the second the third one uh, is tokenizers
tokenizers tokens we call a token as a smallest part of a program so here this tokenizers means the text whatever the text we want to get the text uh, will be represented in a numbers format so a text conversion will be simple simply we can say text conversion will be simple so tokens converting it into a numbers another format okay and it will be having a lot of uh, tokenizer this is also one library and the next one diffusion diffusers so we can say it as a diffusers so we know these diffusion models mainly this is used for image generation so it will use a lot of diffusers diffusion models diffusion models to generate the images the quality images so this diffusion models will create or generate quality images so an example for this diffusion model stable diffusion we know that stable diffusion this is a one model which will create or generate the images okay it will generate or create the images so and the next one is a evaluator this is a one more library evaluator is one more library so name itself indicates it will check the performance of the ai model so if you are designing any ai model and if you want to check the performance of that particular ai model that means accuracy and etc so then we are going to use this evaluator library so it will check performance so whatever the ai models we are developing so the performance of that particular ai model will be evaluated by using this evaluator tool okay and next and these are all the libraries which will be involved in the hugging phase operating i mean hugging phase ecosystem so not the operating system it's an ecosystem and the next second one is a hugging phase hub hugging phase hub so we know hub hub is a central place so this is a central place central place for all data sets and libraries in order to do the work by the researchers or some analyst and the next one is hugging face spaces so if you want to design some ai model and if you want to check that we require some space so this is where we can use our own uh, ai model how it was working and everything without using the servers so we can place it on the clouds so it's a cloud space simply we can say it is a cloud space to test our ai model without making use of any other servers so actually if you want to test our own ai model we need to store that in it some storage space so hugging phase will be having their own space where we can load this one in the cloud space okay next inference api and deployment so here the name itself indicates deployment so you can host your own models you can share your own models okay you need not start from the scratch so already there will be some apis we will be using those apis and we are able to load or host some ai models into this particular 
space. So that is the inference API and the deployment, deploying our own model. Okay, deploying our own model. And finally, community and collaboration. So we are saying it's a community. So all together we are combining in a one place and collaboration. So collaboratively, so many developers and many researchers can share their their own knowledge or their own data sets or their own AI models in this public repository. So simply we can say this hugging face uh, ecosystem as a repository. Repository which can store the complete information about the AI. So mainly that will be used for NLP. Okay. So finally we can say hugging phase ecosystem is a AI supermarket. So in the supermarket we'll be getting everything. So like that this is an AI supermarket where we can get everything related to the AI. So that means there will be having some pre-trained models. So we need not create a, uh, a new models. There will be a, a massive data sets. Okay, we can make use of those data sets and tools in order to check the performance and everything. And there will be a libraries, diffusers, transformers, etc. And also we will be having some inference APIs to collaborate with uh, uh, different researchers or developers. Okay, so finally we can say Hugging Phase Ecosystem is a repository, it's a open source AI community where the researchers can share their own AI models with all others in a public. Okay, so hope you understood uh, this Hugging Phase Ecosystem. So this is a community, AI community. Okay, so I'll stop here and uh, if you really enjoyed the session, like my session, share my session with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.